Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bumbling of Ryan reroll. Um, we still need to do some uh, negative runs. Maggie, Blue Baby, and Eve. Probably could have made it work on that last Eve run, but let's not dwell on it. We'll play as Blue Baby this time because we've earned it. And Davy, 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 S three BPs the seed. I'm half crazy over Our Lady Peace's song, Navid. Now, there's a Canadian joke for you. Where's all my Canadian, you know, post-grunge rockers from 94 at? You guys know Navid. Anyway. Blue Baby. That means probably no curse room. Gotta recalibrate myself a little bit. This is, uh, it's not my first eyes of grunt of the day. Let's put it that way. We're gonna have to set ourselves up uh, to remember that we're not able to take damage willy-nilly. For some reasons, good reasons, it can be worth it, but world card, I mean, okay, a, a couple episodes ago, I talked some smack. I was doing some real shit talking about uh, Deck of Tarot cards. Straight up, I think Deck of Tarot cards is it's kind of boring, and uh, it can be good. I like it a little bit more than uh, the pills, at least when you don't have PhD, um, which is probably obvious, but um, because, you know, there, there's very few tarot cards that are actually bad, Usually they are kind of what you make them or make of them, I guess. Uh, but I, I think it's just kind of a boring item. Like I'm, I'm, I'm over it, man. Like occasionally it can be fun, but once every six rooms getting a tarot card, it might save the day. But you know, yeah, maybe you invest in the fucking bond market. You make three percent on in your investment every single year, and then you retire with uh, three percent more money than you had, or something like that. But hey, nothing beats going to the you know roulette table and betting it all on black, like you could do with a different item, right? I automatically, immediately regret coming into this room, but there's so much good stuff. Um, there is a Tinted Rock. If we could get a bomb, we could do something about it. We could also probably get that key and maybe even access the golden chest, but it would have to be one hell of a bomb. Let's put it that way. What I'm trying to get at is uh, Deck of Tarot Cards is an item for dads. I am not a dad. I, I have a dad, but uh, I have no intentions on being one anytime in the near future. Uh, maybe uh, in the distant future, who knows, but let's be honest, for right now, having a baby would be a bad business decision for me because it would make a lot of noise. Already, I have people complaining about my cats. Can you imagine if I had a human infant in my videos? Oh my god, I would never hear the end of it. Well, a single penny spawned inside of the detritus there. That's not very good for us. Uh, we don't have, uh, well, we can't get those. Okay, well, moving on then. Duke of Flies. If we can get out of this floor only getting hit once, I'm not gonna poop my pants over it, it's pretty okay. Kind of hope that we get the cardboard box here. Now, I don't think the cardboard box is guaranteed anymore. Gotta choose our escape route wisely. I don't think cardboard box anymore is guaranteed to give you a spirit heart. Sometimes it gives you a red heart, which is bunk. But that being said, uh, it would still be a really good choice for us. A key to guarantee us, you know, the ability to open whatever we want on the next floor, golden chest included. A bomb so we can take advantage of that tinted rock situation, which we need to do if we're going to be able to take any three hard deals with the devil. And, uh, you know, a, a trinket. It's it's like a nice starter kit. You know, if you're, a, if you're a parent out there and you've got kids who are... Oh, no, this is bad. Yep. You got, you got kids out there who are, uh, you know, going off to college or, you know, getting a starter home or something like that. I don't know. That, that's the kind of care package you'd want to put together for them. You know, a little bit of food, some keys to success, a little trinket in there to remind them of home. Don't forget where you came from, etc., etc. Good, good, good. No more bullshit spawned here. This is a fairly difficult boss fight when you're not doing any damage. Never thought I'd say that about Duke of Flies, but here we are. Instead of the cardboard box, we got a speed upgrade, which, let's be honest. Oh. I left the world card behind because I took caffeine pill. I thought that I forgot the caffeine pill drops a pill for you. I'm an idiot. Okay, but let's let's be smart now. The worst thing you can do after making one mistake is use that as an, a, a springboard in which to make more mistakes. Hierophant, so good. Okay, better. Umbilical cord, it's fine. Um, I don't think it works for us unless we get down a half a spirit heart, maybe? Gives us a familiar when we get hit sometimes. Is that it? So I'm avoiding, ooh, that's really useful. I'm avoiding using the pill just in case it's bombs or key until we come in here and then we get Polyphemus. Now I want it to be bombs or key. It's balls of steel, that's so much better. <laughs> but we got Polyphemus by the way, which is amazing. I'm thrilled. Polyphemus, a lot of people call GG right now. That's not fair. Lucky me. Um, and we're not gonna get the those uh, mushrooms in there. Instead, we're gonna get some money here. It's not fair to call GG in this situation. Mister, 
Oh, we just got a message on Skype. Nice. Everybody rock out. We're going slow. It's gonna pick it up soon, though. We're going slow. It's gonna pick it up soon, though. No, I'm gonna have to sign out of Skype. Why is this? Because Rob linked a picture, Alpaca Patrol, on Skype. Linked a deviant art picture of what appears to be a cartoon alpaca having sexual intercourse. There we go. I'm very glad that we have uh, picked up the speed a little bit here. Because I was worried that it would just never recover. That's what I worry about every time. It's like I'll have a good Isaac run. And then I'll alt-tab briefly. I just had to close that. And then it'll just never come back. I didn't alt-tab that time. It was just like the Skype message came in and made the frame rate get slow. Isaac's weird like that sometimes. That's okay though. I wouldn't call GG just from getting uh, polyphemies is what I was saying. It is a huge damage bonus for us though, and the fact that we've picked up some spirit hearts as well makes me feel a little bit darn better about our whole situation here. There is another tinted rock. There's a danger here. There is a danger here. Uh, let's go around. It will block the spikes, but the spikes will still kind of move it, so I'm going to try to give it like a little bit of an edge. It worked. Oh, what the? <laughs> well, we got two spirit hearts out of it, but now we got a nightmare zone up here. All right, we still gained HP in the process, so I'm not salty about that. It was just a funny situation. And of course, you know, Monstro's Law applies as usual. Let's just stay the fudge away from everything. Okay, we're going to be fine. This fight will be over pretty soon. In our best interest to not fire all the time and just instead wait for the phases when he's uh, up and then... Or when he's down, I guess, and then... It's not really worth min-maxing over, though. And this is where we pick up a deal with the devil, and the rich get richer in Isaac, the strong get stronger. Good item. and eh, not really. But a deal with the devil afterwards. And more than enough HP to take whatever we want. And yes, we will take, uh... Mom's Knife. With Polyphemus. It's your classic combination. And we're gonna take the ability to fly. Yeah, it's gonna take us low. We might even be able to take the mark and survive, but there's no way. I'm not doing it. We're not going anywhere else. Let's go down to the next floor. So if I die on this run, I, I have no one to blame but myself. I went very aggressive here. But sincerely, um, our, our damage, if it works like vanilla, this is the most damage you ever have. We talk about it in, in, in hushed tones. Is he having a Mom's Knife Polyphemus run? Mom's Knife Polyphemus? Nick jokes all the time. Oh, did you get Mom's Knife and Polyphemus yet? It's the go-to combination to just one-shot every enemy in the game. Now, we do have a problem. And that problem is that we have no HP. It won't take a lot to kill us in this situation. That being said, it's not going to take a whole lot to, to carry us either. Like, these guys aren't even entering their second phase, really. As you can see, we're set up very nicely. And the ability to fly is just your classic kind of addition to this run. Oh, thank God that's not a health down, though. That could have been worse, right? Three keys. So, we're, item room's definitely on the table. And shop is definitely on the table, considering our money situation. What is this? Unicorn stump. I haven't had unicorn stump in a long time. Does unicorn stump work with mom's knife? Does it still let us keep the knife out? Yes. Okay, in that case, unicorn stump takes precedent over, um... Takes precedent over the cards. Even though the cards could be great for us, the ability to have invincibility on every single room. We won't be able to change the direction our knife is pointing, but assuming it still does damage whatever direction it's pointed in, that doesn't matter really that much, does it? Let's let's make sure it works on this next room. Yeah, it works. Now try not to get yourself killed with it. That, that is a risk always. Um, I mean, obviously the spirit heart is something I'm looking for here. I wouldn't mind getting blue map. We'll see if it works out for us. So we can use Unicorn Stump every room. Now if we could just get something like Midas Touch to go along with it. Oh, this is going to be sweet revenge. Alright, there's an HP upgrade for us. And we could just straight up leave. But I think that's not really something that we need to do. And we've got some good uh, HP going here with our Spirit Hearts. That makes me feel a lot better about our whole livelihood. Make sure to use Unicorn Stump with the knife pointing out. And then just fly into the enemies. More bombs and keys. I would forgive you, by the way, for calling this a one run right now. I do think you'd be uh, a little bit rash, a little bit premature. 
But our damage is crazy, and we have an item that gives us invincibility on every room. It at least, you know, puts us ahead of the curve. And that's going to give us the ability to access every secret room as long as we have bombs. Um, I wouldn't be mad at you for, for declaring it a one run at this point, because let's be honest, it probably is. But we're not quite there yet. And I'm apologizing for uh, really throwing myself into all of these exaggerations like this. It really makes me sound like a fucking douchebag. All right. There's our second secret room. What's more valuable? Secret room, second secret room? Doesn't really matter to me. We've got one bomb. Let's try this out. Doesn't even work, right? It works, but I'm going to stick with umbilical cord. I don't even know why I waited for it. All right, down to the next floor. This is going to be fun. I'm having a really good time on this one. Now, remember, this is extremely important to ingrain in my mind. You're taking the negative, which means you're staying very far away from the items when they spawn on that mom fight. I thought I would uh, I would tweet my complaints about it, and I would only encounter laughter and mockery. Oh, you you just got to be careful about it. You got to be more careful about it. You're probably not wrong. That being said, I like that. Um, that being said, I did get a lot of tweets in solidarity that were like, "Yeah, man, I've picked up the negative instead of the Polaroid so many times, and and vice versa." I really wish they would like make it so that the items can't spawn inside of you. It's a relatively minor complaint to have in the whole scheme of things. But that being said, I, uh, you know, it, it impacted my enjoyment of the last run. I don't think it needs to be necessarily patched or something, but, you know, it's not going to fool you more than a couple of times, hopefully. Unless you're as dumb as I am. Sweet. Death card, huh? Well, see you later. What do we have here? It's the Empress card. I mean, the Empress card, it seems nice. Emperor card seems nice, too. This is our moment of truth. I really thought we would do better than that. I th not only did I think we would get to... Uh... Oh, my God. My character is me. It's my YouTube icon. Emperor. Empress. We'll use the Emperor. Um. Anyway. I really thought we would get a deal with the Devil there, above all else. If we could just swing like a Midas touch along with this run, it's funny. This this avatar is looking uncanny. This is hilarious. Okay. Um, yeah, we should definitely not be an idiot and make sure to use our invincibility on every floor or every room. Oh my god, they gave us the halo too? This is a win. Um, I'd like to thank the game for being very, very kind to me right now. We're only 10 minutes in. I mean, we could probably finish this one in, like, record time. I don't really care about finishing in record time. I want to be as safe as possible. How do I feel about left hand? I feel like it's a hell... Really? No left hand, huh? Well, I feel like it's a hell of a lot better than the uh, umbilical cord, but I don't know why you're asking me about the left hand, because clearly it has no relevance, apparently. And no bombs, so that'll be the end of our uh, situation here. Cool. Uh, this is now, and I know I've been saying this a lot lately, this is now the most overpowered run that we have had in our, uh, in our Rebirth history. Almost no question about it. Emperor versus Empress card. We'll take the Emperor, because it can basically allow us to beat the Cathedral, not instantly, but very quickly. Let's get our big room done first. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this room. Now, the only thing I will say is that it's a little bit difficult to tell when the music's going to end. Yes? Oh. Okay. Alright. Well, I regret taking that. I really thought that taking nine lives as Blue Baby would not do that to me. But that's me being, uh... That's me being short-sighted. We've eroded a lot of our HP there. And you know what? I think that makes this run a lot more exciting as a result. Plus, if we become Guppy, that shit's just gonna be hilarious. PhD. Pretty sweet. HP? Oh, I get it. So, nine lives takes our blue hearts, but PhD doesn't give us any blue hearts. Real fair. Well, nobody ever said Rebirth was fair. I, I'm kind of skeptical about coming to this room, but honestly, now that we've gotten uh, that spirit heart, I feel a lot better about it. Who's going to get the invincibility? Not these guys. I don't care if they hit me. Well, I guess it's going to be you guys, then. Probably the easiest enemies of the whole bunch. Yeah, this is a, 
I, I'll admit, when I first got Unicorn Stump, I think I kind of poo-pooed it a little bit. I said Unicorn Stump. Wow, it's just a shittier Unicorn Horn. But if somehow you have like an orbital or an item that does damage even when you're not actively shooting, because you can't actively shoot, it's like one of the most powerful items in the game, apparently, because you can just spend 99% of your time fighting enemies when you're invincible, which is really a good kind of defensive uh, option if you can afford it. And there's no reason not to use it. Like, even on that room, I felt bad because we totally should have used it. We, <laughs> even when we point the knife in the wrong direction, it doesn't matter. We can just kind of squeeze our way in. Pardon me. Excuse me. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm having a great time. This is like the perfect run to end the day. Very, very easy. Um, but still like a little bit of dynamic type stuff going on. Based on the fact that I'm an idiot and took nine lives. But, you know, I can't turn down a free guppy item. It's like a free lunch. Free guppy items make the world go round. I'm, I apologize because the music probably sounds like awful. Bo oh, we have PhD, so we're totally taking coin purse. Balls of steel, please. I can see forever. We already kind of have that. I found pills. Speed up. That's fine. And... Hematemesis, which actually you can use that to get a lot of eternal hearts, so I should have uh, done that differently. We'll buy this pill too, though. Health up, yeah, all right, fine by me. Spending all my uh, inheritance money that I could have given to the donation machine. My apologies. I'm sure we'll get more. Long floor, though. Am I gonna do boss rush mode? I love this. I phrase it like I'm getting a question from the Twitch chat that I'm responding to. No. Um, Yes, I am going to do boss rush mode if we get there in time. Presumably we will. Uh, we we will, will not have a very long period of invincibility. But we will be able to look at it and say like, you know, are, let me put it this way. If there's items in there worth doing it for, then I'll do it. If there's not, then we won't. It's easy as that. That's really lucky. Sure. Wow, two speed upgrades. We're fast now. Not that we weren't before. Oh, double haunt, huh? I'm very spook. Spooked, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about. We just killed, like, the haunt in one hit. I don't even want to worry about this guy. Um, range upgrade. But a deal with the devil. Give me some guppy items for, like, free, please. Uh, Krampus? I'm very glad you gave me Lump of Coal, because there is no way that I am uh, getting rid of Unicorn Stump, which is probably the most powerful item we could possibly have at this moment. Necropolis 2. Allow me to say it again for myself, because I don't trust myself to remember it. We're picking up the negative. The negative! X plus 2 in Global Offensive. No, my friend. That's what we're picking up. We're picking up the negative. Don't stand on the bottom of the screen. You're gonna pick up the Polaroid by accident. You're gonna look like a goddamn idiot. Regular map? Eh. There's a health upgrade pill in there, I thought. Why not even use the... Like, don't be an idiot. Use unicorn stuff. This is how you get your HP eroded. Good, there's a connection here. I'm very happy to see that. I was concerned there would not be. Now, these are my favorite rooms to just completely destroy in one hit. This is almost like... This is something that I think people would call like a broken synergy. But I don't think it's broken. I just think it's beautiful. Yeah, I, I like this too. Oh, sneak in there. No, we left one alive. Well, the quarter is going to make our purchasing decisions a lot easier. We've already seen our shop, right? Yeah, why don't we just go fight our boss? It's not as quick as I thought it would be, but that's okay. I think we'll be able to beat Mom in one hit. Yeah, we'll buy this. Just be aware. That's a luck upgrade. I think I'll buy it. Just be aware not to pick up... The fucking Polaroid. I can't stress this enough, me. Don't pick up the Polaroid. This is your big, big chance to get a blue baby lamb kill. Fairly easily, it even seems. Don't blow it. We're picking up the negative. There's the negative. We did it. Okay. Boss Rush Room. You got Sagittarius Jefferspin. Um, none of these items are that good for us. I would actually go ahead and say that they're all kind of bad. We've already gotten Boss Rush's Blue Baby anyway, I think. Shall we do it anyway? 
No. Sagittarius is not good for us because we already have piercing shots. Magnet, we can fly. Monster Manuel is just straight bad. So the best item for us is the bombs. I wish I could check my save file and see if we've uh, gotten boss rush mode. You know what? Better safe than sorry, I guess, right? There you go. We'll take Bobby Bob on. It's not like these enemies are going to be a problem. You know, the only thing that would make this run better... Well, there's, there's many things. More damage, I guess. But um, one of the only things that would make this run better is if we could get a 9 volt. By the way, it's not just like a, a selfless decision to come in here. I would never paint myself as that self-righteous. Um, what this does is uh, it does give us the option to get one more item and I almost think that we're probably at a better chance to get more spirit hearts than we're gonna lose. That might be a little bit naive. But I think... Oh, that was dumb. But I really do think... We should, I thought we found a secret room or something there. I really do think we have a pretty good chance to gain, you know, maybe like one eternal heart or a couple spirit hearts or something like that. Okay. Fistula was like untouched there. Why am I not using Unicorn Stump? Figure we might as well use that against uh, some, some of the more annoying enemies. Maybe like the final wave. I don't know. We can probably get like two or three waves. That was really bad. We can probably do like two or three waves with it. We should plan accordingly. We're pretty much like one-shotting every single boss we come across anyway, so I'm not worried too much about what we're facing here. Yeah, like being able to one-shot, or two-shot, I should say, Monstro 2 feels pretty dang good. Ooh, that was a little scary there. Got up in my grill trying to take me to a hotel. Must be a football coach the way you got me playing the field, so let me give you that doot doot. I'm a, the king of dirty talk, as you can see. Oh, yep, that was dumb. That was dumber. No spirit hearts, huh? Please don't let this be what sunders this run. This is where we use it because, well, actually, this is going to take a long time. I regret using it there. If we can kill death before more scythes get spawned. That's all that matters to me. Good. Final wave. Please give me a good item to compensate for the fact that I did actually lose like four spirit hearts here. That's me being an idiot, but when is this not me being an idiot? Blood rights. Fudge you, Tony. Um, that's not very good for us, as you might expect. But it's down to the next floor. We have an Emperor card. We have Unicorn Stump. We got great stuff going on for us. Please, I was going to say, please tell me I did not accidentally forget to pick up uh, Unicorn Stump again. So even though I kind of lost some HP there, I'm not overly concerned about our situation. Well, yeah, might as well use that. Sure, why not? Another speed upgrade and another speed upgrade. My thinking is basically that um, we're going to be totally fine, especially when we can't fight enemies. Like, that seems pretty nice. Sneak in. I don't even care. It's just mostly the lumps. You can take out the lumps. Life's good. If I do end up losing this run, that's on me. But it is conceivable. I mean, we'd only have to get hit a few times. I hope we can get some more spirit arts generated. We do have nine lives. Actually, that's what I haven't talked about. Nine lives is actually pretty amazing for us. Uh, we could probably beat most bosses if you give us a couple tries without getting hit. So, nine lives might be the ultimate item for us, even though it kind of screwed us. I'll take it. I don't care. We're not going to get hit on this boss, let's be honest. Uh, actually, Conquest is one of the few bosses we... Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say one of the few bosses we could get hit against, but he didn't get to teleport, so no. Look, I'm not a clever man. I'm taking Pentagram. We're going full damage build. Even though it's ridiculous. Like, it is the stupidest choice I could possibly be making here. And I'm risking my life for no reason. But hey, that's the fun of it, I think. We don't have to worry about it if we just never take damage. Is that really what my, I'm going to base my plan on? Just never take damage? That's like, what's your what's your after school plan? What are you going to do after you graduate from school? Win the lottery. Oh, that's, you know, yeah, but like seriously though. No, that's it. For real. Yeah, we're just, you know, any run in Isaac is pretty easy if you never take damage. Which are words to live by. If you ever want to know my number one piece of advice for Isaac, there it is right there. 
get Unicorn Stump, Mom's Knife, and Polyphemus, then trade all your other HP away. Hey, I'm happy that the game's choosing to oblige me in full damage mode here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is one of those rooms you'll be happy to get rid of without getting hit. Let's check this out. Maybe an Eternal Heart or something. Well, okay. Too bad we don't have Dark Bomb or anything. Ooh, man. This room. I can see this room being a problem. If I didn't have Unicorn Stump. Some people want it all. I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby. If I ain't got you, baby. We're going down to the next floor. This is Shoal time, baby. And now we're, uh, we're fast. Oh, you know what? No, we'll... Try far right here, I think. Um... But we'll, uh, we'll save our Emperor card for the next floor. If we can use our Emperor card to get uh, all the way through the dark room without actually having to do anything, that's pretty good. Oh, whoa! I did not... I expected Wall Masters. These are not Wall Masters. Um, so what we can do is go in. Oh, I don't like this. Kind of a waste. But all we have to do is beat one room without getting hit, and then we get our uh, our money back, or our you know our charge back. This is an easy room to beat without getting hit with our setup, at least. Okie dokie. So we did lose one. That's all right. It happens. It's tempting. Not too tempting though. These guys are bouncing me around here. That expression maybe didn't come out the way I wanted it to. I am loving our damage. I gotta be honest about that. This is maybe the most damage I've had on an individual run. We're not in the greatest position, but hey, it's fun nonetheless. There's a spirit heart to compensate for the one we lost. Tell you what, let's drop a fat bomb down there. I can see forever. Hey, let me out. Thank you. I think we're set. I'd be very surprised if we weren't. Wish I could see where you guys are. So another bomb here. This could set us up forever. I don't think zero spirit hearts is going to do it, to be honest with you. There's our boss fight, and this is easy mode. Okay. Now, Satan's a bit of a trickier beast here, isn't it? I think we're going to try to just land a bomb right off the bat. Now. Oh, crap. I actually jumped out of my seat a little bit there. Woo, okay. Not planning on having a heart attack today. Then we use our invincibility. All right, please, please, please. Feet, we need feet though. Oh, this is risky. Now. All we, I was gonna say, if we just hit him with the knife like once, we're set. All right, we go down to the next floor, we have the Emperor card. All we need is to make, uh, is to get a spirit heart here and then make it into the room. Pills, bomb, just wait it out. No spirit hearts, but we got some spiders, and they're gonna live, and those spiders, oh, there's our spirit heart. Those spiders are gonna do a fuck ton of damage. Here we go. Invincibility, oh, I had it set improperly, that's okay. Did we, did we do the glitch where we actually can't kill him? No, we didn't. We didn't, so we're gonna win. Man, bit of a tricky win there, but hey! Oh my god, I got the, uh, I got a good important achievement. Not that one. That one. Take no damage on uh, on the dark room. Well, that was incredible. <laughs> we have now finished the, the game as Blue Baby, at least on normal mode. We have Eve negative run and a Maggie negative run to do. But thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.